you all remember a long time ago, several months ago, I shot a uh, 69 SS Camaro. I think it's called 69 SS Camaro. Nice car, silver. It's beautiful. Those folks were talking about uh, a pickup truck they were putting together. Well, they finally got it out, and uh, it's, it's uh, almost the end of September, and um, the truck's made its debut at the Grand last week, and uh, it's out here now. So um, we're going to take a look around. They have done a beautiful, beautiful job on this truck. It's a 70 Chevrolet. Look at this interior. You see these inserts right here? I mean, you hear these inserts? That's actual metal. It's, uh, it matches the speaker covers, inlays and all that. Look at the woodwork in the bed. They got the rear marker lights. You see that? You can hardly see them. They're blacked out. They got them in later pushed in there. Everybody's been looking at this truck. It's been here, oh, an hour or so, and people have just been going crazy over it. Todd is talking to somebody. I had him. I had him ready to uh, talk to me about the truck because this truck's been his family forever, and it used to be a long bed, and there's a real story behind it. Todd? Yes, sir. Finally got it done, brother. Yes, sir. Is it, is you, does it drive and look oh, yeah. like you thought it would? Yes, better. Really? Well, tell me tell me a little bit about the truck. It is a 1970 C10. Uh, it's got a 402. Uh, board 30 over. Uh, Did you dyno it? No, have no. not dyno it yet. Did Tony do the work? No. The motor work? No. No. Uh, Lowell Mitchell done the motor work. Uh, Jeff Wolfenbarger. Um, and the guys that work for him at Cool Colors done the painting. I've done the chassis work, set the motor, done the wood in the back. Who did the interior? Uh, Hudson's Rod and Custom. Who Will came Hudson. up? Who came up with the ideas for that? That was kind of a. Uh, I had seen some of Will's work and took it up there, and we talked about it, and just told him I wanted some uh, some kind of screen mesh in the in the See? seats. And yeah. Said, there it is. That is cool, man. Come up with it. I got to tell you, that is just really he cool. He does awesome work. Yes, he does. If I have any interior work, I'm going to look that guy up. Yeah. Now, this truck, you, I believe it's been in your family a long time. Oh, yeah. It's my grandfather's. Then uh, my dad had it, got it when he died. Then I bought it from him. Was it just a farm truck or is it yeah. always been? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a long bed. Uh, it was actually a long bed, what they call a, uh, I guess a camper hauler. So oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And we put it on a 72 frame, disc brakes all the way around it. A 72 yep. pickup truck frame? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, short bed. Short bed. Uh, put the... Uh, every nut and bolt's been changed in. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Up underneath is clean. Oh, I can yeah. see when you were pulling in, it's still fresh up underneath yeah. there. How long have you had it out? It has been done for three weeks. It's, uh, it's uh, the longest I have drove it so far is... I think I got 53 miles. Oh, no maybe kidding. 60 miles. On. How did it, how was it received at the Grand? Uh, I got the Ultimate 5. No kidding. Yeah. That's pretty good. Just uh, today at Auto Fest, I got the uh, the Diamond 5. Top oh, okay. Five it, and Best of Show. No, Best of Show. Man, that's the award everybody wants to win, right? Yeah, it was actually a special award. I got gotcha. you. Come off from uh, one of the vendors. Oh, I so. see. I see. And uh, this air cleaner, let's look at that. Let's look at that motor a little closer. What's that air cleaner from? That is a aftermarket uh, Cadillac air cleaner. That is cool. You got roller rockers and all that in it? Do not have roller rockers in it. Okay. Is that a crate motor or is that one that you No, that's had? the original 402 motor. We yanked it out and uh, just redid it all. Uh, got the uh, billet specialty front running serpentine system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Air, power steering, all the all yeah. the all the luxury oh, yeah. Power windows? I no. didn't notice. No. No. Now I was noticing that console, that little center section. Is that slide back and there's yeah. cup holders? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Well, brother, let me tell you, we've been waiting all summer, and it was well <laughs> worth the wait. You know. And as a matter of fact, one of the reasons I was at the Grand, and it was so important for me to get up there, is I wanted to surprise y'all and show up and say, you know, let's shoot it while you're unveiling it up here at the Grand, because yeah. you had it indoors, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So, but like I said, it was such a madhouse up there. I apologize. I didn't make it, but uh, man, I'm glad I caught it here. Brother, thanks so much yes, for sir. showing it to you. I'm going to look at that interior one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Folks, I want to take a look at this from the driver's side before I get out of here. I'm running out of battery, so I hope it just doesn't cut off on me. But they have laid these gauges. It's got that old-fashioned stick that looks like a stick shift, but it's an automatic. Just a beautiful truck, you know. And there's that mesh inlay. It goes through the seats, matches the speaker covers up there on the dash. It's got an all-leather headrest or a headliner in it. Beautiful, beautiful truck. I knew, I knew y'all wanted to see this one, and I couldn't wait to show it to you. All right, I'm going to try to find another nice one. I don't know. We'll see.